Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and uh, we're back once again with a uh, Packard Bell we haven't seen in a while. This is the Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme. Uh, this is one of my more powerful uh, Packard Bell computers. I've upgraded it to a uh, Pentium 200 uh, MMX megahertz. That sounded awful. A Pentium MMX at 200 megahertz, a uh, overdrive chip that is. Uh, 64 megs of RAM and a Voodoo uh, 1 uh, 3D accelerator. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, one that I frequently use uh, when I can. I really like it. And it's got an 8 gig uh, compact flash card running Windows 95. Now the reason I'm making this video is because uh, recently I've uh, started doing some live streaming here on the Nostalgia Mall, and uh, I thank everyone that has uh, come by and uh, interacted and uh, checked out the shows. So far I've uh, done one show where I played some old games through an emulator. Um, done a couple of just streams from my phone here uh, of installing uh, stuff on my corner Packard Bell and and today when I today I'm recording this video I did a live stream where I uh, tested and set up a Dell Latitude D630 with Windows XP live on camera and so something I'd like to do um, and a lot of people have suggested this and so I'm gonna try my best to make this reality is to set it up so I can actually directly live stream vi a video capture from an old computer. And because um, this Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme is, the, is right next to my uh, main daily driver desktop, it makes sense to uh, use this one for uh, video capture and uh, streaming. Now I've done video capture before and we're going to be using the same hardware I've used before with that, but it's been a while since I've done it. I've just not had a uh, real good reason to do it. It's more trouble than it's worth. But now that I'm uh, doing some live streaming, I think now's a good time to get that set back up. So let's take a look at what we'll be using today. Okay, here's the box where I keep my uh, cap VGA capture hardware. The heart of it all is this uh, Abermedia LGP Lite uh, HDMI gaming capture card. Bought this new back in 2018, although I discovered today that it was actually manufactured in 2014. And I went on ahead and uh, installed the software and drivers on my main computer. Um, turns out that Abermedia no longer uh, provides modern uh, drivers and software for this to work properly on Windows 11, but the uh, older software from a few years ago for Windows 10 uh, seems to work just fine, so uh, I'm happy with that. And so uh, what we're going to have to do is uh, first we'll plug, we've got an HDMI cable here, and we'll uh, plug it into the uh, input of the uh, Avermedia card and of course this will plug into the to my main computer through USB and the other end of the USB, ca of, USB <laughs> uh, HDMI cable is going to go into this uh, StarTech uh, HDMI uh, to uh, VGA adapter, which uh, actually uses uh, power. Input, output. And then uh, on the other end of this, we have uh, the input for the uh, PC. And uh, for that, we're going to be using this uh, Triplight uh, two-port VGA splitter. That way, um, I can uh, have one output go to the uh, Avermedia, 
and have this first output go to my uh, regular uh, CRT monitor over here. And we will also be splitting off the uh, audio coming from the Packard Bell with this uh, actually new old stock Maxell uh, headphone splitter. And by the way, you never ever want to use just a cheap old uh, VGA splitter. Um, you'll get ghosting and all kinds of horrible uh, video quality. So you want to get one that uses uh, actual power. And we got all the power cords in there. So uh, I think that's all the important stuff now. Uh, let's get to hooking it up. Okay, pardon me if I uh, get in the way, but first of all, uh, we need to go ahead and uh, unhook the uh, monitor from the computer. So, pull this up a little bit, not let the mouse uh, come fall off the desk. Okay, I'm unplugging it from from the uh, uh, voodoo card here. Okay, uh, of course the uh, input has been lost. Video signal, I mean. And now I think first we need to uh, hook up our uh, VGA splitter. Let's see, this will go to uh, output one. This is for the monitor. Go ahead and screw that in. And no, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these uh, components. <laughs> think that one through. Okay. Now I have noticed a uh, issue I didn't take into consideration. This uh, input uh, connector is the wrong gender. Now I need this for going from the uh, HDMI box to here. Now I used to have a uh, gender changer with this setup, but I think I lost it when I uh, moved out of my parents' place. So, we may have a problem here, uh, and I don't have a uh, male to female uh, VGA extension cable on hand, so I am going to have to pause the video here and figure something out here. Okay, I've come up with a uh, temporary solution. Um, as you know, I have a uh, Voodoo 1 in this uh, Packard Bell, which requires a VGA pass-through cable. And what I'd been using was just this uh, standard uh, run-of-the-mill uh, VGA extension cable. And I happened to find the uh, original pass-through cable that came with this Voodoo when I got it. Only thing is, is that there was a reason I quit using it, and that was because it, uh, I was having some uh, video uh, quality issues with it. I think there's a short in that cable, but I think this will work uh, good enough until I can get on Amazon and uh, order another one of these uh, extension cables. So we can go ahead and uh, proceed as originally planned. So, uh, input goes right here, and this will go to the uh, back of the computer. And I'll go ahead and uh, plug it in. 
again. We'll just, and that's me beating against the keyboard. <laughs> and plug this into the uh, back of the computer. And I just heard the monitor uh, come back to life. I don't know if I'm getting video uh, issues or not. Actually, I'm getting a blank screen and I don't know why that is because we uh, haven't plugged it in yet to uh, power. Got to figure out which of these power cords goes to the uh, VGA splitter. Once I get, get it untangled, that is. I think it might be this one. tidy things up later. I just want to see if this stuff will work. Uh, plug it in down there. Yep, I was afraid of that. There's a little bit of a blue tint. And that's because this uh, pass-through cable that came with the Voodoo is on its last legs. But if I wiggle it, a lot of times it will uh, get better. Okay, it's, that's good enough for now. So now that we've got uh, the uh, splitter uh, working, we need to get the uh, HDMI box uh, going. untangled here. It's really hard to explain how this is going to work on there with the signal again. Like I said, this is only temporary until I can get a better cable, but anyway, uh, here's our uh, HDMI uh, doohickey. We'll uh, plug it up to uh, output number two on the splitter, and it's already plugged into here. And so now we need to give this some uh, power. This is a mess. I'll tidy things up probably out off camera. Okay, good. I have a plug. Tight squeeze, but I do see the uh, LED lit up. One thing I forgot, we got a our uh, sound set up. So, uh, let's see. I gotta think about this for a second. <laughs> this, uh, I believe, will plug into the uh, sound card on the computer, the headphone splitter that is. So I'll unplug the monitor speakers plug them into this splitter right here like so and I'll grab a uh, one of these uh, stereo cables most commonly seen in uh, on car radios now and I will plug this into the input on the HDMI box this is very convoluted but trust me it works and then I'll plug it into the headphone splitter right there. 
And there went the signal again. Okay, is sound still working on the speakers? <coughs> nope, we must have a crossed wire somewhere. Oh, you know, it might help if I plug this end into the computer. I think that's a brilliant idea. speaker. Let me just check the connections here. Okay, it appears the issue is with the uh, cable going from this speaker to this speaker. Okay, I think that satisfies me enough. So now we'll uh, take our HDMI cable and we'll run it back here towards my uh, Windows 11 machine. Run it under the desk here. Pardon my poor cable management down here, but this um, is where my uh, main computer lies. So let's grab the uh, little Avermedia box. Um, I've already got the uh, cable uh, for it over here, the USB cable that is, uh, which I think may have fallen back at some point. Yes, it did. So we'll go ahead and uh, connect it like so. Always the second time round. And it lights up a nice shade of blue. And we will find our uh, HDMI cable coming from over there. And we will plug this in into our input. I think we finally got it, but does it work? Does it pick up a signal? Let's see. Okay, um, got the main computer uh, up and running here, so uh, I'm trying to remember how I did this before. I don't remember if I had to go into the Avermedia software itself and dial things in, or if I could do it all through uh, OBS. We'll we'll do, we'll go the easy route right now and try OBS. Okay, you can see my ugly old mug there <laughs> on the webcam. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing's really showing up here, it looks like. May have to go into uh, REC Central and fix stuff up on here. Okay, I don't know why it likes to do that. Okay. Gotta 
let's just program settings. Okay, so we are getting no signal apparently. That's not right. So the button on the card itself it works. But why it's not getting a signal, I do not know. Everything's good over here. Let me come back over here to the Packard Bell and see if everything looks okay. Failure point is everything is getting power. So why is it saying there's no signal? All the connections seem uh, Normal, nothing out of place. Everything's nothing, nothing's loose. Let's come back over here. Just unplug HDMI from the Avermedia. Plug it back in. Okay, I do not. Get this. Connection wise, everything is good. So there's no reason why this shouldn't be working. Okay, I don't care about that. Sure, what to do? Um, everything's where it needs to be. Nothing out of place. Maybe I need to hit the button on the HDMI thing. Darn thing. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be a nostalgia mall video about something going uh, catastrophically. What did I do? What did I do? How did that start working? <laughs> well, it's working now, so... I mean, uh, that shouldn't be a... We shouldn't be complaining here. So I wonder if we can uh, go back to OBS. All right, there's our uh, 
signal from the uh, Packard Bell. We can stretch this around and try to center that. See if we can bring the uh, webcam picture uh, in front of the Abermedia. Move up, there we go. Hmm. I'll put myself above the taskbar there. Does that look good to you folks? Now one thing I do want to do is uh, find out a good place for this uh, webcam. I actually just got this webcam uh, a week ago in anticipation for uh, stuff like this. And it actually came with a tripod. And I'm going to see if I can position this just so uh, you can actually see me use the uh, Packard Bell. So I will do that off camera. Okay, I think I got the uh, webcam in a uh, decent enough spot. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, grab my uh, headset and I'm going to do a test recording and see how this uh, turns out. So uh, I will uh, stop the video on my uh, phone and we're going to switch over to uh, the feed from uh, OBS. Okay, we're going to uh, give this a try and hope it works. Um, not quite sure if uh, sound is working or not, but I guess we will, uh, we will find out. So... Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a lag here, but that's to be expected. It's going through several different uh, boxes, I guess you could say. <laughs> so let's... Uh, oh, we'll try Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. That's a benign enough game. And this is coming directly from a real computer, folks. Okay, uh, the Epic Mega Games logo looked a little bit off. I will have to say that. So does this. Okay, that's decent. Okay, it's making all that noise and freaking out calls of, uh, <laughs> sometimes my, uh, Sidewinder 3D Pro joystick gets, uh, a little bit out of whack calibration-wise, so, I don't know why it likes to do that, but we will, uh, let me go ahead and push the computer back a little bit, grab my, uh, joystick, We'll uh, recalibrate it real quick. Okay. Okay, that looks a bit nicer. So let's try, uh, playing this again. Okay, how did that happen again? What is wrong with my joystick? <laughs> Yeah, it got off kilter again.
Didn't think this would be turning into a joystick troubleshoot video, but hey, on this channel anything's possible, I guess. Okay, well let's stay uh, correct this time. If not, I'm just unplugging this thing and playing with the keyboard. It's got a million uh, opening titles. Okay, that this seems a lot better. <laughs> so we'll do a single player. I'm looking at it over here on OBS. It's looking uh, looking good. Video quality's good. And I'm sure there'll be some, still be some tweaking I'll have to do to this. Uh, most importantly, uh, get these uh, converter boxes placed uh, accordingly so it's not looking all ugly. <laughs> Yeah, I am uh, quite happy with this. Y'all ready for this? We'll uh, get out of here. stick back over here and there you have it all right I just played back the recording and uh, everything looked good and everything sounded good too so I am quite happy with how this turned out again I'm gonna have to uh, make some adjustments over here with these uh, with this uh, HDMI converter and VGA splitter uh, find a good place for them to sit because this is kind of sloppy right now, but at least it works. Um, and I also need to get another VGA extension cable because this Voodoo pass-through cable is just not cutting it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope um, you folks will join me for uh, live streams from now on, uh, where I'll be broadcasting straight from the computer itself. Uh, I'm... Uh, thrown around the idea of uh, hooking this up with a KVM because right under here I have my uh, Packard Bell Force 442 uh, CDT running Windows 3.1 so uh, if I hook a KVM up I, I can broadcast from uh, Windows 3.1 along with Windows 95 on this one. And who knows, I may even uh, throw together a uh, simple little uh, Windows 98 computer to hook up here too so we can play some uh, newer Windows 98 games in our live streams. So that might be fun. I'll have to consider that. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, I know uh, there are, again, many, many ways you can uh, do VGA capture. This is just the way I do it. It's probably not the most elegant with all the uh, converters and everything I have to use, but you know what? It works, and it works well. So, hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.